Alright, this is my new colloidal gold generator. I built this one to make more gold water. It's supposed to be more efficient, smaller, easier to work with. Not that big ugly fuck I had before. I'll give you some details. I'll give you more. Hold on, let me get this sucker down. Alright. Now check it out. So basically, so everything else, well everything here is half and half. Plastic, copper, and regular metal. Like you know, that's stainless, that's aluminum. Okay, now, let's take a good look at this damn thing. Okay, this right here is a motor, a DC motor. I got a DC motor on this thing, okay? Alright, so, let's put a different angle here. Shit. Alright, now, here is. That right there is a DC motor. Here's the gear. This is a copper electrode. This is another electrode. Alright? Look at it. It's a very simple design. Very, very simple. Now, this and this then this DC motor right here has this plastic gear. It has to be plastic. Don't put metal. It'll shock the fuck out of you. Alright, it'll transfer that high voltage right to your electronics. Okay, just make it plastic. This right here is the electrode that goes up and down. The gear teeth goes right. Damn, this shit's blurry than a bitch. If you look at it, the plastic gear, the teeth goes into those grooves and brings it up and down. You can put a switch like on a control box or something. And you go up and down, up and down. Uh, it's nice if you use like a motor control, a pulse generator. That it it makes it makes it move even slower. And this motor right here is 0.6 RPMs per minute. I'm telling you, that's fucking slow. That's 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 slow. That that's exactly how you want it because gold you can't. If if you burn too much, you get too much thick particle, huge particle. Uh, the smaller the particle, the better it is. Yeah, the smaller the better. Nano, and you want it in nanometers, very very nano. All right, the smaller you get it, the better it is. Now, and you're gonna ask, how the hell do you put the fucking gold in here, right? Okay, very simple. You see, here, and we'll have a piece of gold. Here we have another piece of gold. How would you put the gold wire? The gold wire would be like, um, like very small uh, a paper clip see right there if you look carefully into this copper rod I had a hollow copper rod and I tapped it right there and I tapped this one also so in that hole I put a piece of gold maybe half inch long and I crimp it so I'm and after I crimp the end of it right here you can't get the gold back out. It's in there. All right. Now screw this back in, and you put another piece of gold wire here. So a piece will stick out here, and a piece will stick out here. Crimp, and of course you got the other electrode. And then you run some wires. The high vo um, your high voltage wire. On this, I need to tap next. And this, I need to tap to put the wire. And that's it. You got your gold generator. It's it's very easy, very simple design. I make it safe, very safe, all plastics and shit. If you look at it, it's very easy. Now, the price is, how much does this shit cost me, right? Okay. It's all about money when it comes to it. Some people live on their money, but not me. But in this world, you need money to live. But I'll tell you what it costs anyways.
Um, this and um, this DC motor costs 50 bucks. The rods, the electrode rod, the copper rod is 99.99%. You can buy this at McMaster. If you and and so if you live in the United States of America, you can buy these copper rods. Down costs 15. This one costs about 10 dollars, and the motor is 50 dollars. The plastic probably 20 bucks. This plastic another 20 bucks. Now the thing that will cost the money is the machining, okay? The machining. The only thing you machine, oh, and this right here, uh, and this gear like four dollars. The only thing that will cost you to mach uh, that costs money is the machining. You have to machine these uh, these serrated part in here. I call them serrated. All right. So yeah, and you have to tell the machine shop they need to put grooves in there to match your teeth on the gear so that way it makes it all one piece when this is moving it's moving this the shaft also also he needs to machine this ends for you right here yeah well yeah something like that machine see right here how, was, uh, if, how they fucking debur it right there and then they drill the hole inside and tapped it alright they drill a hole and tapped it same thing for the other end he needs to bend this. You see how I see how I went and I bend it and I came back this way? And I uh, here is where also I tapped. Alright? And I screwed a little piece in the same piece here to the same piece here. I tapped it and I screwed that in. But you don't have to do this bending right here. You just make one fucking bend, come straight down, and this same and you can screw right you know, it, it, it's it, it's easy. Um just think about it. Spend four or five hundred dollars on it. Uh, like three hundred dollars will make you the mechanical, you know, this whole fucking piece right here. Uh, but another two hundred dollars will get you the electronics. You get a colloidal gold generator of five bills. Five hundred bucks. That's not bad. And you make like unlimited fucking water, man. Put it at night time. And finish in the... And two days later, you get some pure shit. Anyways. I'll make another video and tell you all about the you know stories and shit about people who drank this thing and how they feeling and it's just positive 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 stuff man um all right y'all have a good day leave comments and shit all right if you have any question just just ask just type it up and send it all right man and ladies bye